Hello and welcome back or welcome if you're new. We're going to dive in here to my reading journal and this first part is we're going to have some music layover. I was working on it while my kids were in the room and then sometimes I was working on it I think while my husband was in the room so there's a lot of background noise so I just sped it up and just odds and ends of little bits of time when I could sit down and kind of catch up in my reading journal and then at the very end I will do a flip through of everything that I've added and then a little bit more explanation for you. So just wanted to come on and let you know that that's what this is going to be like. Hopefully there'll be a, a time stamp on there but um yeah I'll do my best
Okay, so I didn't end up using those, but I've caught up a little bit in my reading journal. I'll give you a quick flip through of it, um, of what we got done so far. Um, I showed you this, all I did on this page, I'm not sure if I showed it on the channel, was just add a couple of the things that I had been reading. Um, so just different genres. I put my goal on here and then just a thought, this is gonna be a no pressure goal for the year. I just wanted to relax and enjoy reading. So I set my reading goal pretty low considering that the year before I read um, over a hundred books. I read 138 books and I set my goal at 85, but that's okay because when we get to February, you'll see it was a super low month and it just, it took some um, pressure off. Let's fill this out though. I didn't pick out a January or February book. So February, I need to print another one of these, but January, well, we'll come back to it. This is my kind of end of the year. So we'll come back and fill that out. And then I just added um, in my series tracker here, I added the Unearthly series because I finished it. I started it in February of last year and then I finished it in March of this year. I wanna reread the Giver series. Um, I know they're not like, it's a different kind of series. So, um, but I wanna reread the Giver and then do it again. So that's why I didn't mark the Giver off even though I've read that. I'm super excited because I think that I just found the last two books that I was missing from the Elm Creek Quilts. And then this year, 2024, she's actually coming out with another new book in the Elm Creek series. So I really wanna catch up and finish that. But I've got, I did a pretty good um, chunk last year. And so I just wanna keep going with that. And then I ended up leaving this page blank so that I could add in more pages. But um, I realized I didn't have like the Twisted Tale series and my son and I, my oldest son and I actually really love reading these kind of fairy tale rewrites or um, I don't know exact the word that I'm looking for, but I'm sure you get the gist of it. So <laughs> I went ahead and printed out all the stickers for the books they had right now. So this one, um, I actually had printed out for my February layout, but I ended up using it here. So I, I need to print another one, but I, I love this. And um, I showed it to my oldest and he was like, oh, I had no idea there were so many books. And I was like, I know, right? I don't know it took us so long to put them all down. So I read this. This was the very first one I read as old as time. And it still, I think is my favorite one. I don't even have the date that I read it because I wasn't using, I don't think I was digitally tracking my reads yet. So, but I did read that. And then the, this one is like from 2021. Um, I didn't read Once Upon a Dream. So I want to go back and see if the library has that. I just, I just put them on and then put the red dates. I haven't read this one. I have not read Strain Until Morning. And this is really cool to have for us too because sometimes we'd look at the book and be like, did we read that one? I'm not sure. So I think I actually wanna make a tracker for my son too um, so he can read them. Ideally, one day we'd be able to like collect all these books, but right now our budget doesn't allow. So <laughs> we, uh, and these we've not found like ever at the thrift store. So um, then this whole page is done and then we get here and our library has like none of these. I think this one, one of the libraries online has, but our library doesn't have any of these here. So, and then I have a reading challenge for in Storygraph to read six Christian nonfiction books this year. Um, I just put it at six instead of like one per month, thinking that I could take like two months to read one book and then that way I would get through at least six throughout the year. I think I already have one, I thought I did, but maybe I don't. I'm currently reading one. Um, I'm actually currently reading two, but I haven't finished them so I don't get to put them on there. And this actually is a picture that I printed out um, from one of my morning time devotional type things. So. I kind of like that having actual pictures of like, like that's, we don't even have this mug <laughs> anymore, but like I remember doing this study and that, yeah, anyways. <laughs> um, and then I just, here's another challenge, the story graph onboarding challenge. So the five star of a similar user. And as I finish them, I'll put one here, read a book out of your comfort zone, um, use the random number generator and then a book 
from your TBR pile, it starts with the first letter of your first name. And for me, that's an E and it's kind of hard <laughs> to find, but um, I did have another challenge that was like that last year and I was going to read Emma, um, but I didn't get around to it. So maybe I'll use it for this one. And then the other two prompts are, they're coming soon. Uh, so coming soon, read a book you discovered via the Buddy Reads or Read Alongs page. And then this one up next, read a book from your up next suggestions. I actually just finished this one as I'm filming. It's already March, but I'll add that in at March. And then I did January, January. I just journaled a little bit and then I kind of, there's like, I don't know, last year I just put like the books that I read, like, and I didn't write too much. And this time I went ahead and just put in that January was a lot of library book readings um, and where my mindset was at. I came in ready to rebudget and things like that. I started rereading the Harry Potter series and then this was a library ebook that was on hold for like ever and it finally became available. So I read that and then this one, I finally finished the Akatar series. And then this also was another ebook that I had on hold from the library for a super long time. And then February, February, we go into February. And like I said, February was really a rough, exhausting month here. Um, so I need that other little picture of the twisted tail, go the distance, and I'll put that here. And then I also did, we only read three books in February. We read Practice Makes Perfect, and then Go the Distance. And then I had my very first blind date with a book. I was so excited the library had that as an offering and um, they had some there. And so the book that I ended up getting was The Beach House by Mary Alice Monroe. I had planned to do a reading vlog for you on this book, but I didn't, like I said, February was a mess. So I didn't get that done, but this was, you know, just the paper that it was wrapped in and then the little description that was on the front and the book is takes place at a beach house and also has to do a lot with sea turtles and the relationship between like family relationships and things. And so I had some leftover planner stickers that were sea turtles cause I really like sea turtles. So <laughs> that worked out well. And then I'm ready for March and that's where we're at. So I think for February, the book, even though this was a cute read, it took me a while to get into it. Um, and I really pushed myself because it was the blind date. So I would actually say that this practice makes perfect would be my February choice. And January's choice would be, oh, I really want to pick Harry Potter because I forgot how much was left out of the movies, but because it's a reread, I feel like that's not kind of, I mean, it's, it's my rules. I want to say it's not fair, but I'm like, you could pick that your book of the year. <laughs> but since I want to keep reading the Harry Potter books, um, I have a feeling that they'll end up here and I'd rather pick books like first time reads. So I don't want to pick one in Rome because the sequel to that is Practice Makes Perfect and I picked it for February. So let's go with All That Really Matters. Mm, and of the two, I would say All That Really Matters. Both of these books are um, fiction, romance type books. Um, I think both are clean, yeah, both are clean reads. Um, Practice Makes Perfect definitely alludes to, to bedroom scenes, but it's not graphic. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's gonna be my update for my reading journal this month. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and getting it done. I am having a lot of fun with it this year. I had fun with it last year too, but I just think it's a nice little, um, I would get behind and then like catch up kind of like now where it's March and I just did January and February, but it's okay. Um, it's kind of cool to come back and look at it. I do have another page that I want to make in here that is um, tracking my library books, but I felt like the video was already going to get too long and I wanted to just wrap it up and get it out for you. So be on the lookout for another update. Maybe we'll do it in March or maybe we'll more than likely um, get it in April, May. <laughs> 
we'll have it out sometime. <laughs> Thanks so much for hanging out with me though. As always, if you don't know or you just need to be reminded, maybe the one to tell you, you are deeply and truly loved and so, so appreciated. I really appreciate you taking your time out and spending it here with me. Thanks for watching.